It was a sensational chase and yet simultaneously the bitterest dropout in his career. In 1981, Walter Röhl switched to Porsche. His company car, the 911 SC, equipped with a flat six engine, 280 horsepower, and a top speed of 240 kilometers per hour. With powerful rear wheel drive, good grip on the road, and co driver Christian Geisdorfer at his side, Röhl aims to win Italy's four day rallies in Remo and win against the strong Audis with all wheel drive. The start on October 5, 1981, goes well. After the first day on asphalt, the duo lead the pack in the 911 SC. Two days on gravel lie ahead. Here, the Audis have the edge and take the lead. Yet Röhl and Geisdorfer still believe they have a chance to win in spite of their three-minute gap to the leaders. Final day, asphalt. A legendary chase is underway until the drive shaft breaks. So close to their goal, it's a huge blow to Röhl. At that point, the 911 disappears into a private garage and doesn't reappear for another 25 years. Freshly restored, the racing trio stages a comeback in 2011 at the Targa Tasmania, over 30 years later. Röhl, Geisdorfer and the 911 SC enter in the classic category. Another setback befalls them on day two. The drive shaft breaks, just as in San Remo in 1981. But Röhl doesn't give up. Another furious chase begins. At the end of the five days, the three take tenth in the classic class. Although he never won it, for Walter Röhl, the San Remo 911 is still the best rally Porsche he ever drove.